Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, for this week's uh, video topic, I kind of wanted to go into um, the Canon C100 and why it's still relevant to me in 2018. I've had it about three years and um, I've got the original Canon C100 Mark I. Uh, Mark II is already out for quite a while. And originally, the thoughts behind this video is originally I... Uh, was on YouTube and there's already I think three or four videos out on that already the same topic my reasons are actually a bit different or quite a bit different the reason behind this and uh, so we're gonna look at that now over the years I've used my Canon C100 to uh, film dozens if not hundreds of live events um, product demos and unboxings at that time I was looking for a secondary camera to shoot multi-cam with my XF100 and also looking for a different type of camera um, something that's much better in uh, low light with uh, interchangeable lenses another thing that I liked about the Canon C100 was it used exactly the same kind of batteries as my Canon XF100 so they were interchangeable as well it uses exactly the same power supply like many Canon professional cameras it features XLRs and uh, as well as phantom power so um, it had many options uh, as far as audio it's nice that uh, it uses inexpensive SD cards uh, to record to. Um, now, I don't like the uh, codec very well since it's uh, AVCHD, but at least it's more robust than the H.264 you get off most um, DSLR cameras uh, to use HD video. Talking a little bit more about the uh, internal codec, which is AVCHD, uh, it runs at 24 megabits uh, per second. Uh, not a great uh, bit rate or very fast or normally a good codec but it is better than a internal DSLR and if properly shot actually works out pretty well um, now if you use the HDMI out you can use it for external quarter such as this Tomos Ninja Star which is capable of recording ProRes up to H high quality which is about 220 megabits per second now the output is actually quite good for the HDMI out because um, it will record um, in a color space of 422 8-bit instead of 420 uh, color space so you actually get much better uh, post-production uh, colorization so actually after talking about uh, the, all the reasons why my choice of the Canon C100 and why I really love this camera and will continue to use it. Um, if somebody actually gave me a choice, um, if you could choose another camera now, uh, between even the most expensive camera you could buy or somebody would actually give you, um, you know, it could be Reds and, you know, uh, Aries or whatever, um, my choice would actually be a Canon C100 Mark II, uh, the new version. Uh, meaning that the uh, new display and the electronic viewfinder are probably really all, the only thing I want additionally in the camera I have now. And I'm perfectly fine with this uh, into the far future.